Welcome to the NRL Finals 2023 series. Let's get into my NRL Week 1 tip, starting off with a fantastic game between the Brisbane Broncos and the Melbourne Storm, and it's not the baby sides that we saw last week. So let's talk about this game. At Suncorp Stadium, the Brisbane Broncos have earned themselves a qualifying final against the Melbourne Storm, a team they have a very poor record against, a team that they have struggled against in recent years and previous years, winning, I believe, 14 of 50 matches. As for the Melbourne Storm, they are hitting form at the right time. Both of these sides have massive inclusions. Obviously, a lot of the rested players returning for this game. It was a great game, nonetheless, last week between these sides, but this could be massive. You've got Adam Reynolds coming back. You've got Patrick Carrigan coming back. Munster and Hughes are back for the Storm. Meany has been named at fullback with Pappenhausen by the bench. You know, it's so tough to go against Melbourne here with the record that they have had over the Broncos. The Broncos have had a fantastic season and this sets them up for a grand final or at this stage, a prelim. Who am I gonna go with here? It's a really tough pick. I'm gonna go with my gut more than my head here and I'm actually gonna tip the Broncos. I love the way the Broncos have played. I think they can trouble Melbourne. I think they can win by a decent margin too. So look, I don't think this team will be as tight as people think, I'm gonna go the Broncos by 10, 26 points to 16. Jesse Arthurs is my anytime try scorer and Xavier Coates will probably bag one at any time. The next game is at 4.05 on Saturday. It is the Penrith Panthers versus the New Zealand Warriors. The Warriors have finished in fourth position on the NRL ladder. If you're not a Warriors fan and you predicted that, give yourself a pat on the back. The Waz man, what a season it's been. Can they get themselves into a prelim final? They were so close at Magic Round against the Panthers. I believe they had two sin biddings in the game, and I think they only lost it by a margin of one to 12 points from memory. Last time these sides met in the final, the Panthers runaway victors, I think 27 to 12. Roger Tuovasashek went off early in the game. You know, the Panthers, they know how to win finals game. That's why it makes it so tough. I had a lot of Warriors in the uh, team of the year, if you saw that video the other day, and you know how great they've been. They can definitely trouble this Penrith side who, you know, they've had six losses this season, so they have shown that they are beatable, but man, they are a different beast, aren't they? So as much as it hurts me to do it, and I'm all over the wires in regards to that excitement, as for a tip, I think the Warriors are gonna keep it close, I do, but I think Penrith are gonna take the two points home, or the, take the game home. I'm going to go the Panthers by six. I do think this will be low scoring. The Warriors have shown that they can defend. I'm going to go the Panthers 22, Warriors 16, Penrith by six. My first try scorer, I'm going to go a bit of a roughie here. I'm going to go Liam Martin to barge over from the Penrith Panthers. And I'm pretty sure that it's Sean Johnson's birthday. I'm going to go SJ to score a try at any time. Get into some elimination matches. The first one from Shark Park at 7.50 on Saturday. Very reminiscent of the Sharks and Cowboys qualifier last year. Um, the Sharks go into this game as slight favourites against the Sydney Roosters. The Sydney Roosters, man, they had to win their last five games to even be a chance to play finals. Here they are in the top eight, so Roosters fans right now dare to believe. As for the Sharks, it's been a very inconsistent season, but they have played some better footy as of recently. The poor performance against the Knights, obviously a better performance there against the Canberra Raiders. Let's have a look at these sides. Matt Moylan has been named on the reserves. Dylan Napa has been named on the reserve. Drew Hutchison has been named on the reserve. The bench is of the Roosters, Sandon Smith, Butcher, Terrell May and Angus Crichton. Bench of the Sharks, William Hunt, Hazelton, Oregon Gafusi. And interesting to note that Will Kennedy has been named in Jersey 21. Connor Tracy still named at fullback. With a finals game, do you get Kennedy back in there based on his start of the season? I'm not too sure. Really, really tough game. Elimination, the loser goes home for this one. Roosters have a great record against the Sharks, but earlier this year, the Sharks were able to snap that losing streak against the Sydney Roosters. 
Can they do it again? Well, they definitely can. You know, Ramian, the experience, Hines and Nakora have a great combination. They got fast, athletic wingers. But man, the Roosters defense has looked better in recent weeks. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to tip the Sydney Roosters. I'm going to tip the Sydney Roosters to win by 10 points. If they can defend and hold the Sharks out, some of their attack has been quite poor in recent weeks. So I just don't know how many points they can score if the right Roosters turn up. So I'm gonna go the Roosters by 10 points. Roosters 22, Sharks 12. I like the form that Billy Smith has been in and he'll be running at Sione Katoa and uh, <clears throat> Jesse Ramian. So I'm going to go Billy Smith to score the first try for this one. And as for an anytime try scorer, I'll just go Ronaldo Mortalo. Game, which I will be at, another elimination game. It is fifth versus eight. Fifth for the Newcastle Knights. I had them as wooden spooners. Boy, I was wrong about this team, and I'm proud to say it because they have gone on a run for the ages. Kalen Ponga is back for the Knights. Lachlan Fitzgibbon has also been named in the back row. As for the Canberra Raiders, Sebastian Chris is out due to suspension. Uh, Kurt Mann has been named by the bench for the Newcastle Knights. The Knights have fantastic record this season at home. They're playing a home final. It's a sellout crowd. Don't doubt Canberra though. Canberra are a team that can defend when they want to and they can score points and compete with teams when they aren't expected. Just like a few weeks ago with the Raiders and the Broncos, we went into half-time equal score. So this win for the Knights isn't going to be as easy as people think for me. I do think the Knights are going to win though. I'm going Newcastle to eliminate the Raiders by eight points. I think we're going to get close games this weekend. I'm going to go the Knights to win 26 points to 18. I'm going to go with first try scorer. I'm just going to go with Dominic Young to score the first try for this one. And my anytime try scorer. I'm trying to remember who I had. I know that I did have one from the Canberra Ray. Actually, I'm going to go two nights. I'm going to go two nights. I'm going to go the back row. I'm going to go Lachlan Fitzgibbon. Guys, once again, I'm sorry that my tipping video was out uh, a bit later this week. I have been pretty unwell. Uh, and yesterday I was at the zoo. But guys, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'm looking forward to finals footy. I'm going to the Newcastle Knights game. So there will be a Knights vlog on Sunday. Let me know your tips in the comments below. And I will try and get a little finals giveaway organized in the next couple of weeks. Till then, I'll see you later, guys.